Hey guys, it's me, Joy Francis of joyfoodwool.com. I am coming to you here with another video. Let's chat. So what are we talking about today? Now, for the past couple of weeks, I've been doing a lot of driving, whether it's the kids' sports, um, client meetings, different things. So um, I've been doing a lot of driving. Um, I love driving. Maybe I just don't... I, I get tired. Yes, I do get tired, but... It's what I have to do and I do it. Anyways, what I wanted to talk to you about is a couple of things. Mindset and how I burned 21,000 calories last month. Now, the mindset part. I've been listening to books on um, audiobooks. I've been listening to audiobooks on Audible and it's been a great. I love reading. If you know anything about me, you know I love reading. I love reading. So... Loving to read and having to drive a lot doesn't go hand in hand because you're driving and can't drive and read. So audiobook became a thing. I've listened to numerous ones. I'm going to list some of them in the um, description box for you just in case you want to check them out. But the one that I've currently have been listening to for weeks because you have to take it in doses. <laughs> it's um, David Goggins' uh, Can't Hurt Me. And that one, the reason you have to take it in doses, sometimes I wouldn't want to listen to it first in the morning, too early, because there's a lot of cursing in it. And if you, you know, you, that would be something that might be an issue for you. You may not listen to it but the message is what is really great in the book now why listening to it this morning i got you know it had me i remembered something and that thing is i had a couple of friends a couple of people tell me before this joy you know i want to work out with you i really really want to work out with you but i um i'm gonna get myself ready and then come check you right and you know, in listening to the book this morning, he's talking about mindset. And I was like, wow, how much have we put caps on ourselves? Because you're telling me I'm going to come train with you, but I have to get myself at a level that I think I have to be at to train with you. And the thing is with my clients, you can come injured. You can come never worked out in your life. I have a program for everyone. And I think a lot of people don't understand that in training, in exercise, in fitness, and in health, you, the individual, the whatever is designed is designed for you. The same thing that works for me is not gonna work for you. It's not gonna work for her or him. The same thing that worked for them may not work for me. Maybe you did um, a keto diet and it worked for you great. Maybe not, that's not gonna work for me. I'm not a meat eater. I'm not a bacon eater. I'm, I'm not a big, you know, fat meat, fatty stuff eater, avocado. Is the closest thing you know um i'll eat so that wouldn't work for me and you know it just got me thinking guys like really i want to urge you to not put that cap on yourself whether it is you saying to yourself no way i could run a five miles no way i could run a 10k you can you can and all in in order to do it you just have to put your mind to it take action and get prepared all right. A lot of times we sit and we wait and it's like, oh, no, I'll prepare myself. Well, after about a year in the gym, then I'll sign up to do uh, a race. No, sign up to do the race for the next two months and get a training program and get in there. Talking about race because I love running, you know, and get in there. But don't limit yourself. Don't put a cap on what you can and cannot do. You can do more than you think you can. And me i am living proof of that like i've living proof of that for myself daily because there's a lot of things i've done like a, a half marathon i haven't done a full one yet and i don't think i had the mindset that i couldn't do it but i'm always excited and i'm like want to do it let me see how it feels i want to do it you know i want to do a marathon because i want to see how it feels i want to do a um a ultra because i want to see how it feels i want to you know do like a, a a very crazy trail run you know, it's a lot of miles, 50 mile or whatever. There's stuff that I want to do because it excites me. That may not be you. <laughs> Running may not excite you. But whatever it is, sign up for it. And then put your energy, time, and effort into getting prepared for it. All right? The other thing I want to talk about is that 21,000 calories that I lost, um, that I burned in October. You're probably asking, 21,000 calories, Joy? Yeah, why? I've been working out twice a day for most days. Sunday is my Sabbath. I don't do anything on Sunday except maybe to run. 
And that depends if I if I didn't get a rest day during the week, I'm not gonna do that on Sundays. I'm not gonna run. I'll take my Sunday and really rest, recover, stretch, foam roll. And in October, you know, my watch told me 21,000 calories um, burnt. Here's why this is important. You all probably heard calories in, calories out, right? So if you wanna lose fat, you wanna lose weight, the amount of calories you're going in your body and the amount burning, that's the equivalent that 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 equation in the middle there is where you're going to get your fat loss your weight loss and stuff so if you're burning say you're burning 10,000 calories a day all right 3,500 calories it takes to burn one pound of fat so do the math one 10,000 calories a day let's just give it an even figure say 7,000 calories a day you burned that's two pounds of fat per day. You know, when you wonder how people do the quick, oh, they lost how many pounds in 20 months and different things like that. That's per day. If you burn 7,000 calories per day, that's two pounds. Now, that's given that the calories going in is not more <laughs> than the calories you burn. So say you're on a 2,000 calorie diet. All right, or some people might lessen that and say they're on a 1600 um, calorie diet because they're trying to lose weight. Uh, whatever it may be, it's going to take 3,500 calories to burn one pound of fat. Guess what? Guess how much calories you should be burning <laughs> a day? At least four or 5,000 calories if you want to get quick, fast, you know, fat loss and weight loss, right? Um, for me, I've been like unintentionally doing it. I've just started to um, really ramp my workouts up. I've been doing X Live. Uh, so for the day, for some days, I actually am doing three workouts. And you might think, what? Are you crazy? No, X Live is 15 minutes. That's like a, a nice little little kicker for me you know energize a booster and then i'll do strength training and then i might do some cardio which include maybe running or uh the stair stair master at the gym so it, it sounds like a lot but it's really not all right and uh, i hope you took something away from this you know message the, the two with the mindset one with the mindset stop capping yourself stop capping yourself we are going into a new year just now we just know we're gonna hear all the hype and the this and the that new year new you i want a new body a summer body what none of that's gonna happen if you don't decide today on doing something that scares you all right on doing something that scares you and that might be signing up for a five, five, uh, 5K or 10K. That might be signing up for a mud run or doing something that scares you. Have that thing there, that goal, that something. Maybe, it, maybe it's okay, you're not into that. Or you want to do boxing classes. Sign up for it. I don't put a cap and say, well, I have to be really fit to do this class. No, you got to start somewhere because we all started somewhere. All right. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you, well, oh, yeah, I just woke up and everything was easy. No, as a teenager, as a, um, I played basketball, uh, I played some soccer, you know, I was very active. So it, it's very easy for me to be active. And I know that can be one of the excuses you might use. I'm like, oh, well, joy is easy for you. It's it, it's become easy because I continuously did it. Daily habits, weekly habits, yearly habits, monthly habits. Do I slack off? Hell yeah, because I'm only human. So there comes a time when sometimes a week gone by and I didn't work out. Not present day, but in the past, you know. But guys, I just really, really, really want to urge you to not put that cap on yourself. And if you want to burn fat and you want to burn calories, make sure what's going in and what you're burning is not the same. Because if you burnt a thousand calories and you go home and you eat a thousand calories worth of food guess what you put it right back in your body all right i'll be sharing another video on the whole calorie in calorie out soon so stay tuned for that one but till then peace love and fitness